guys, Shaman here from the Gem Hunters. Hope you're having a great day today. Hope you've been making plenty of money, but most of all, hope you're enjoying yourself. We at the Gem Hunters thought we'd put together a set of videos to help newer, less experienced investors find their feet and blunten the learning curve. We want you guys to make your own decisions and choices and understand exactly what it is you want out of crypto and why you're here. This sounds crazy, but most people don't know what they want and why they're here. And what happens is they drift around aimlessly in the abyss. That's exactly what most investors and traders are doing right now drifting around aimlessly they have no idea what they want or where they want to go and it's really simple to sit down and think about for 20 30 minutes what exactly you want and when you realize what it is you want and this has to be a realistic goal by the way guys i see a lot of traders and investors saying i want a million dollars you know um and i'm talking about a realistic goal now guys I'm not talking about you know I want a million dollars as well but you've got to be realistic about this so what I suggest people do is get a piece of paper or a word document and they simply write down it doesn't have to be uh, a thousand word um, essay it doesn't have to be a paragraph it can be one sentence it can be two words financial freedom it can be whatever you want but it has to be realistic guys and you have to understand that this has to be a target that can be hit um, even if it takes 10 20 years you have to understand that it's something that you can achieve so I really want people to understand that it's really important to understand what it is you want so we can start setting these smaller targets to hit the bigger targets and finally your overall goals and ambitions without having those goals we can't set the smaller targets the smaller targets is where we are going to make progress towards those goals now I've been helping people since 2017 understand these basic principles and guys this is not rocket science this is just common sense it's basic organization and planning. This is something that I understood quickly when I got involved in crypto that it was the most important thing because failing to plan is planning to fail. Understand that and remind yourself that, guys. Every time you go into a trade, you should understand why you're opening this trade or why you're investing and what targets have you got to take profit? Where are you planning on exiting? Where are you planning on taking profit? And where are you planning on setting your stop loss? These are all the things you should be thinking about before you make a trade. You should understand all the consequences and be ready for any unforeseen circumstances or to take profit and readjust the strategy depending on what is happening you should be ahead of the game at all times and this first video is going to help you guys get ahead of the game and take real initiative and understand exactly what it is you want and how you are going to get there now i can't tell you what it is you want because i'm not you we all have different mindsets, we all have different personalities, and we all have different aims and goals and ambitions in life. So, but I see too many traders asking other people, what do you think I should do? Well, you should know what you want to do. It's fine to ask other people what their opinions are, and being open-minded is really important. I see a lot of new investors and traders coming into crypto and they're not open-minded. They're really stubborn. And when something goes wrong or they make a mistake, they blame it on other people. And they're not open for other um, ideas and suggestions from other people. 
one thing I promised myself when I was entering the cryptosphere was I would keep an open mind and I would listen to people who have been on the journey and who have got experience already because I fully understand that their perspective is priceless. So I'm trying to give you guys some perspective so you can use that to progress. And I had no one doing that when I first started. I had no one telling me how I should trade or how I should organize my portfolio. And the results were catastrophic. I lost so much money and I went through so much stress and trauma that I'm here today to try and save you that torture because I know what it's like. So fully understand that I am really trying to help people. This is a video to give you guys honest advice. This is not financial advice disclaimer, but this is going to be some really honest advice and some real home truths. There's going to be a lot of questions needed to ask and a lot of answers in return. And it's all out there, guys. It's all on the exchanges in the wallets. It's all in the experience that you're going to go through. And I'm seeing a lot of new traders who are scared to lose. They're scared to take any risks. And the problem with that is you're never going to learn. Making mistakes is the only way we truly learn, especially in crypto. You can watch any video you want. You can watch uh, professional traders live streaming, but you will never understand what it's like to trade until you've done it. I have some friends who are really good footballers and I could phone them and ask them how they do some of the skills they do and how they play how they do. But I will never truly understand how to play football until I go out on the pitch and play for myself. It's completely irrelevant how many football matches I watch. If I watch Ronaldo for six months straight, every single move he does, it doesn't mean jack shit until I go out there myself and start doing it. And even then, I'm not guaranteed success. You have to go through the motions on your own. And believe me, guys, there's plenty of people out there making the most of this opportunity right now. People who fully understand that this may be the biggest opportunity of their lifetime. Bitcoin is currently the hottest asset on the planet. And if you think this is anything other than a financial, monetary, technological revolution, you are crazy and you haven't done your research. Elon Musk did his research and he invested $1.5 billion of Tesla's capital into Bitcoin. Do you think Elon Musk is sat there now looking at his watch? The biggest difference between new retail, less experienced retail investors and traders is, and professional traders and investors is, the newer, less experienced guys come in with no money, no patience, no plans, unorganized, and no goals. Whereas the more experienced guys come in with lots of money, Lots of time, patience, lots of plans, lots of goals, and they're fucking organized. There's a big difference. And this is the difference between the 95% of people who don't make it and the 5% of people who do make it. It's not a small percentage difference. It's a monumental percentage difference. And if you don't take that serious, you will be in the 95% of people that fail. But if you do take this serious and you do put together some real plans and organize yourself, I guarantee the chances are you will be in the 5% of people that make it. We have to find ways to make this work. And the amount of people who are whining, saying they haven't got enough money to start off or they can't afford it. If you can't make the money in the real world, what makes you think you're going to make it in crypto or the stock market? <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry, but if you think the crypto, crypto and the stock market is an, is an easier, safer environment to be in than the real world.
Well, let me tell you guys, if you think it's it's safer and it's easier in crypto and the stock market, you are clueless. And that's why you're losing money. And that's why you're part of the 95%. <laughs> guys, I'm sorry, but that tickled me. And I get people messaging me all the time whining that they can't afford to put the money in and they can't find the money and they can't make the money. You can't make money in the real world. You ain't going to fucking make it in crypto or the stock market. Reality check. So, guys, on a serious note, another reason why we rely on planning and organizing so heavily is so we limit our emotions. It's a really emotional place to be. Um, and when you open a trade, depending on how much money you're investing or how, how much you're exposing yourself to the market, emotions are real and you will find that out so you might hear people talk about being disciplined uh, um, a lot and that's basically it means you're disciplined in keeping those plans and staying organized disciplined and you are solid as a rock you don't veer off those plans and you stay organized and that's exactly what it means by being disciplined and by the way i know a few guys who, who were in the army and they also trade and they're the worst traders i fucking know so it's not the same kind of discipline it's not it's, it's not the same i want to give you guys some tips i'm going to give you guys some basic tips to make your life easier and these are the things that really changed my life and my mindset um as a whole not just in crypto but generally I read every book there was out there on psychology, watched all the videos. Jordan Peterson, absolutely love the guy. He's one of the, the main guys that I look up to as a sort of mentor. And really, this is all this all starts up here. This is what this video is focused on, giving you the right mindset and mental attitude. And what a lot of professional stock traders do when they're teaching someone or bringing a new... Um, unexperienced trader into the game is they absolutely abuse them and they put them through the hardest times because no matter how hard they are abused it will still be nothing compared to what they're going to go through in the markets so these guys are baptized by fire and they are put through rigorous mental trials and if they don't pass those trials, then they will never become a trader. So understand that it's going to be a very emotional. It's going to be there's going to be a lot of stressful, uh, sleepless nights, and it's what makes me laugh. I'm going to try not laugh again. But people think because you're in crypto, you're a millionaire, or they think you're rich. Uh, they don't realize how hard this is. And but it doesn't have to be hard when you're organized and when you have the right plans and targets in place this is a lot of fun guys and you can make it easy but you just have to understand so i spoke about earlier um <clears throat> having an overall goal and so we can have smaller targets to reach that goal so one of the main things that i've lived by since i've been in crypto is aiming low and you might think why would you aim low when you can aim high? Because you've got your overall goal, which is set high, right? But now you need lower, smaller targets that you can keep hitting. Because when you achieve those targets, it's a good feeling. And your mind, your brain wants more. And it will add fuel to your motivation and drive. So it's really important to have all these little smaller targets and keep hitting them, bang, bang, bang. And your mindset will just be off. You won't even need to kick yourself anymore and say, come on, let's go. Your mind will already be going. And that's where you want to be. You want to be so focused on these little targets that you're setting yourself. But you want to give your, your brain the initiative and fuel to go and get those targets. So you want to be really looking at how you can give incentivize your own mindset to become a beast and really think outside the box and work really hard and put the time in and that's how we do it guys we have small targets so 
If you put $5,000 in crypto, then your first target will be between $8,000 and $10,000. Once you hit that target, you can double it again. Put it to $20,000 if you wanted to. But what I suggest is, is that you keep the targets quite low. There's no problem. It's actually a good thing. To hit targets is achieving. And to achieve is everything, guys. It's giving your mind incentive to carry on. So, a lot of people set really high targets that they never, ever achieve. And their mind switches off. So setting low targets gives you massive incentive to carry on. And this is one of the biggest game-changing things that I did. Was setting small targets that I could achieve. It was amazing. It was life-changing. Because not only did I, did I use this, um, this method in crypto. But I used it in my life. Anything that I do now, I break it down. And I plan and organize, I research, and I set small targets. And it's one day at a time, guys. And you won't believe the progress you will make. And all the most successful people are doing this. They're breaking things down into bite-sized, digestible amounts. And they're hitting the targets. Bang, 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 bang. And there is only one result when you work like this, and that is success every single time. But when you sit, when when you set really high targets and you never hit them, your mind just switches off. Not in full control. You might want to hit those targets deep down, but it's your mind that you have to incentivize to get there. So doing all these little things to incentivize and incentivize your your mind is really important. I'm going to talk now more about the trading and investing aspect of crypto. And as I said earlier, I lost a lot of money when I first started off in crypto. It was a really hard time. I had a really, really stressful time and it was traumatic. Um, I had no one giving me advice and I was watching all the different YouTube channels getting eaten up by all the TA bullshit that didn't mean jack shit. And... It's really hard to get good advice. There's just, there's just generally, there's very, there's a massive lack of good advice out there, guys. A lot of YouTubers and content creators are not traders. They don't spend any time trading or investing. They spend all their time creating videos, marketing their own brand and promoting projects. Yet, most of the content out there on YouTube is made by people like this. People who aren't even trading or have no skin in the game. I find that hypocritical because how can someone, how can you give advice to someone else when you aren't even doing it? So understand that these bite sized videos that we are making will be quite brief, but the information we are giving you is from guys who have spent all of their time doing it. And even though this might be a little bit rough around the edges and raw, it's as real as it gets. I want you guys to understand that there's a huge difference between investing and trading. Investing is speculating on the price of an asset going up over a long period of time. And most people in crypto are not investors. When I say a long period of time, I mean a year plus. Now, most people I speak to can't even hold for a day. They buy and they're already, they already have, have itchy feet. They're already scared. It's crazy. Now, trading is speculating on or taking advantage of the volatility and the price action of an asset. That is over a much shorter period of time. There are lots of ways to trade. And depending on your own personality and the way that you think and your the way you work, only you can find out what works for you by doing it yourself. You have to actually go and trade to find out. Otherwise, you'll never find out what it is. And I guarantee that you're going to get it wrong. And it's going to cost money. So limiting the amount of money you use to start off with is really important. Otherwise... You will run out of money and before you learn how to trade, you'll have no money and you won't learn. That's the main issue with most people who are learning how to trade. They run out of money 
before they can truly formulate a system that works. So this is why it's really important that you put lot, plenty of money into um, into crypto when you start off so the deck is in your favor. Most people are putting tiny amounts of money in and they can't afford to lose any of it. Otherwise, they're out the game. When you only put small amounts of money into the game, then you can only experience a small amount of the environment that you're putting that money into. When the market cycles, then then you can't even go through a full a full market cycle bear to bull because you've already run out of money halfway. That's why it's really important that you put plenty of money in. But at the same time, manage the risk and only use as little as possible, but at the same time, enough so that it's worth the time. And also, it's, if you only put a, a penny on every single trade, you wouldn't care and you wouldn't learn anything. So... You have to, if you understand what I'm saying, you'd ha you have to kind of put enough on so you take it serious, but don't put too much on so you can't afford to lose it. Because it's really important that you can see how the market works and you can, over time, you'll see that the market moves in buy waves and sell waves. And if you, if you watch different crypto assets you will see how they react to the market how they react to bitcoin how they react to each other and you can slowly start picking the assets that you feel you'd like to start trading and then when you start trading those assets you can slowly formulize different plans and you can move around to different assets but what i did when i first started trading was i chose seven coins on Binance and I watched them like a hawk for months and months and I understood every time Bitcoin dropped how much they on average would drop each time so every time Bitcoin dropped I could I could I could see where my buy opportunities were going to be I could see where the prices were bouncing every single time. I could see the support levels where everyone was buying in and, where, and the resistance levels where everyone was selling. And I could start to slowly feel what was happening. And that's the key, guys, is after a while, you can start to feel. Forget thinking. You'll start to feel what is going on. And that is when you will start making money. But you will never be able to feel what's going on unless you're doing it. And the issue is, people put so little money in that they are not able to experience this. They aren't able to go through this because they aren't able to make mistakes. Because one or two mistakes, they're out of the game. They, aren't, they haven't got enough money to make mistakes. So, putting plenty of money in. Is, is going to enable you to experience the market cycles, experience the buy waves, able you to witness firsthand how the market moves, how all these different assets react to each other, and only you can do that. The point is, guys, is you've got to do it, and there are people out there who will help you, but if you do 90% of it, other people will give you the 10% that makes it, that clicks it in, in, into place and you'll go, oh my God, I get it, I get it. But if you're not doing it, you'll never get it because you're not doing it. Why, why would you get it? If, you're not, if, you, if you aren't doing it, why would you get it? Doesn't make sense. Think about it. But there's still people after I say this who will sit there and go, tell me what to do. Where's the my money? Where's I go? Uh, what's I do now? And I'm like, seriously? Like... And, and they they completely understand what they're doing. They're just so lazy. They don't want to put any work in, but they want free money. Guys, I won't lie to you now. There's no free money out there. You've got to work for every single cent. You'll understand that as you start putting the effort in. And we are here to help you guys. But understand, we are trying to trade for ourselves as well. So it's a team effort. Everyone is helping each other together to the top is the motto but you can't be uh, selfish and expect other people to carry you over the, 
over the line. You have to put the effort in yourself. And this is exactly what I've been telling people for years. And I understand completely that only a small percentage of people that this will click with a small percentage of people. But if, if, if we can help 20 or 30 people with this video, then that's better than, than none, you know? So, um, please do understand that it's going to be a lot of patience, a lot of questions asked, and a lot of answers needed. What's going to help you guys uh, progress quicker is making notes. So, as you're trading, as you're seeing the different patterns in the market, as you're seeing different assets move, make notes. Don't be scared to make notes. Write down what's happening. You don't have to write a story, you know? not it's not a freaking um you know you don't have to make you don't have to spice it all up today i did this you know you just 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 simple simple you know a couple of words keep it simple um and also there's, there's a lot of pre-sales right now there's a lot of different um pre-sales and you you, you want to make a note of of all the pre-sales that you're buying what price you got in how long's the vesting period? When's the unlock? What date's the unlock? Write all this down on a spreadsheet. You've got just just get spreadsheets for different things: your trades, your pre-sales, your different investments, what price you got in. Guys, all this stuff is so important. And over time, at, at first, it will be it, it it will be hard. It will be hard, and that's why so many people do not get involved. Because it's just hard work. They think this is a laugh. <laughs> Believe it or not, it does it, it does get fun. It does get fun. And I'm not trying to make this sound like, uh, you know, hard work. I'm just being real. And I want to help people. I rarely do. We rarely care at the Gem Hunters. We want our community to succeed. But in doing that, um, we, we, we've got to give you guys a bit of tough love. So, really hope you appreciate that. Having a balanced, clear-cut portfolio that you're in full control of will give you a clear, balanced mind. And you will be able to sleep at night. You'll be able to make decisions properly. And you'll be able to think and consume information. And believe me, there is plenty of information. There will be plenty of information to consume. Having clear focus is so important. And... Whatever you're doing in crypto will reflect on your life. So if you're unorganized, if you don't have a portfolio that's organized, if you don't have proper plans and you're not organized, your life will be chaos. And it reflects the same on crypto. So if you, even if you have, you're organized in crypto, but your life is chaos and you have lots of distractions, then it will be really hard to make the most of crypto and you'll be it'll affect your organization and focus i see a lot of people who are not focused they they have distractions all the time they are distracted constantly by their job or their family life or their friends guys i've got to say top traders make a lot of sacrifices so they can focus and prioritize what is important things like social media is on the back burner facebook out the window snapchat out the window no shit talking on whatsapp no no small talk no constant small talk with friends i mean this is all low priority stuff this is on the back burner so understanding that if you have distractions it's going to tear away your focus and if you aren't focused then you're losing your edge against the market and other people. Believe me, there are other people that are laser focused consistently and they will beat you every single time. So if you put together plans and you organize yourself and you start, even if you've been trading for a while, it's it's you know there's nothing wrong with going back to square one and trying to get things organized trying to do things the proper way and and really try and put the effort in not just in crypto but in your life as well because as i said that reflects everything it reflects 
you as a person as a whole so anything you do in the crypto or the, or the stock market eat better eat less fast food try and take care of yourself try and exercise and you will see phenomenal results but if, if you start if you start here guys and you make the change and you sacrifice there's a saying that i i got recently i heard recently and it was if you're not prepared to sacrifice everything for what you truly want then you don't truly want it and understand that there are people out there sacrificing everything for this opportunity so we will continue the videos guys thank you very much for watching hope this was helpful please take on board some of these points i wish i had someone giving me information like this when i first started out because it's took me years to formulate strategies and plans and to really organize and get the right mindset but all i know is once i got the right mindset and once i was organized it was just a tumbleweed effect and i just got more and more organized and efficient once you once you get in that mindset and once you fully understand what you're doing and why i guarantee you won't believe the results you start to get so cheers guys really appreciate really appreciate you watching the video please check out the gem hunters we've been helping people for years we're checking out all the newest projects in the space all the newest tiny projects introducing the newest revolutionary innovative tech the gem hunters is out there finding these projects anyone who hasn't got the time to go out there and research themselves we are researching and we are breaking down all this information so you guys have got it on a plate it's priceless and it's all free of charge don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed the video throw us a like and follow on twitter and on the next video, we'll explore more down the route of investing and trading, fundamental analysis, trade analysis, helping you um, manage risk and diversify your portfolio and go deeper and further down the rabbit hole. Cheers, guys. See you next time.